I one dollar versus ten million dollar job. I'm about Mr. to work this Beast. ten million dollar job as a professional athlete, and I'm gonna show you the difference between uh, this shit. and getting paid two hundred thousand dollars to be an astronaut. This is insane. Getting paid one hundred thousand dollars to dig up real dinosaur bones. Oh my, oh my god. god! And so many other jobs, starting with the lowest paying job I could find, gold Let's pan. See. That can make as little as one dollar a year. But we're gonna make one dollar a year. Statistically not. Basically, gold panners put dirt in this mechanism, and with enough shaking and water, all of the gold is filtered out to the bottom. But it's not very easy, because after five hours of searching, I was definitely not rich. Oh, oh my boy, god. I found gold! No! How much is that little nugget worth? That is two cents. Exactly my point. You could do this for a whole year what? and only make a dollar. But luckily for us, we're going to be working jobs that pay over $10 million per year. But first, let's see what it's like to work a job That's that pays gotta be a $100,000 job. per year. Digging up dinosaur bones for a museum. You got to find and that yes, good spot in the lake. Because they're all dead. So this is just one of our pits. Are these actually dinosaur bones? They are. So I've been here 17 really? years. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on in my career. This is your thigh bone right here, and it's over How four do they feet find tall. These For comparison, here's that dinosaur they just start next digging? to six corals stacked on top of each other. Keep in mind, I'm 6'5". These are mini jackhammers, essentially. How you doing it? He has no idea what he's doing. Oh. No idea. Now, this may come as a surprise. That looks like that's going to take forever. Whoops. Be careful. It took us five hours to make any progress whatsoever. But even oh with us God. holding him back, with the help of the expert, we were getting somewhere. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on in my career. And you let me oh and Carl God. touch that? Absolutely. What if we messed it up? Josh, how much does this weigh? <laughs> Probably gonna be <laughs> two, got no answer. Pounds? Yep. This is one tenth the weight of Nolan's mom. Oh, wow. Why now, are you coming for this bone? Is he so loves ancient, coming for we his have to mom. Cover it in a cast before we pick it up, or else it could literally break in half. Let's mm. hope it doesn't fall apart when we lift it. One, oh my God. two, three. This is a scary part. Oh, scary. Oh, wait, baby. Good job. No. This is the first time any humans have ever carried this bone. Just YouTubers carrying a dinosaur bone. Ugh. Front of the table. One, two, lift. Careful. Damn, why is that table so long? And believe Total. it or not, this dinosaur bone did find its way into a museum. But wow. because museums are boring, let's head over to the $200,000 job. Under K, Astronaut yeah, training huh? with NASA. And my first mission, learn to drive the official lunar rover. This is what will one day be on the moon. Yeah, this is how we're going to get around the surface of the moon. Why are they letting me drive this? <laughs> Open the door. He's really at NASA. Look at him. How do I work this thing? Push forward on the stick. Right now? Yeah, go forward. Push whoa, forward. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. I'm scared. You good? Oh, this is amazing. Go ahead and twist. To the right? To the right or left. They're on the oh road God, with it? Cars. Is this street legal? Uh, street legal around here. Oh, this is amazing. Why are we driving <laughs> sideways? I haven't what figured the fuck? out how to straight it yet. And even though I'm driving like I'm actually drunk, He's I still managed the whole to road. get us to NASA's lunar training yard where the real test is going to be. Oh, we're off-roading. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, this is getting bumpy. You're going to let me yeah, drive it down that's, the that's the real test. Is seat belts in Take this it thing? down. There's a seat belt we don't use right there. Then. Yeah, <laughs> they've got seat belts they don't use. That's, <laughs> that's helpful. Oh, that's they don't need a seat belt in space. Are really going down? Can I get that seat belt now? Oh, my God. Wait, we're going down that oh, probably feels so yeah. scary. Lift your hand so they can see I'm driving. I, he's actually like, I'll up? get up and let Nick no, 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 go. No. <laughs> go sideways in the crater? Sure. Why well, was that shit tip Carl. over? Hold me. Landon, I'm just going to say it. You wouldn't survive on the moon. Uh, I reckon I could do it. Next in training, NASA showed me around their enormous space facility. Holy crap. Oh, this shit. is the second largest pool on Earth. Which I'll be honest, it wow. just felt like they were flexing on me. Especially when they showed me the space suit. As far as anybody's concerned, once you try on a space suit, you're an astronaut. But of course, there was a catch. When you go on a spacewalk, you have to wear a diaper. You're in the suit for 12 hours. Wow. There you go. Um, like an got actual no choice. real adult diaper. Okay. So be careful. This yeah. is a space artifact. It's flown on the space shuttle several times. So real astronauts have worn this. Yes. Keep in mind that astronaut peed in this. Have you peed in this suit? I not in this suit, no. Okay. Not in this one. That's crazy. Wow. When's the next mission? What are you doing a, a year from now? I can make time. Okay, okay. And the final step of my training was go the space, craziest huh? thing I've ever done. They were gonna let me touch the moon. Now, no, being That's back here because it weighs 9,000 pounds. This weighs 9,000 pounds? 9,000 oh, pounds. This is the largest collection of moon rocks on display anywhere in the world. I can't believe they're letting us do this. Oh my I realize God. we're just a YouTube channel. 
<laughs> oh my god. These are just straight up from, from the, the moon. moon. What are the odds you let me touch the Genesis rock? Zero. <laughs> Yesterday, we dug up a dinosaur fossil. So I'm an expert in this kind of stuff. Can I touch it? No. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> he said I just go out. He's actually yeah. lunar soil. <laughs> lunar soil. You're actually touching the moon right now. Oh, that's wild. So that too. That is crazy to think about, huh? The moon, it has not been open since it came back. And since you haven't checked in theory, there could be an alien. Yes. Well, it would be the first from the moon. Wait. From the moon. <laughs> you guys hear that? And after we found out From aliens the moon. were totally real, we headed to the stratosphere for our next job, where Carl and Nolan are going to fly a plane. I've never flown a plane before. We have no idea what we're doing. Welcome uh -oh. to the first day of flight training. I'm not joking. For the boys who somehow fly a real hey, plane, they made 300K all they have to do is land plane? one really? time in this flight simulator. All right, here we have our throttle. Bro, it those back. flight Maybe. simulators, bro, it's crazy. They get so into detail, dog. Like, it's crazy. In a good way, though. Go obviously. slower, just like that. Oh, oh, my God. And after Nolan crashed. Ah, like, look oh at how. God. And crashed. Oh, my. Oh, my. And crashed. Oh. You crashed the plane? He eventually he did not land like successfully, Abby. which, for whatever reason, gave him the keys to fly this real plane. Oh, my yeah, God. Hey, if you can't do this, Nolan, please, for love of God, let them know now. Oh, oh, my God. I'm going to fly a plane. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. As ready as I'll ever be. This man just got in a simulator and gets in a plane and starts flying that bitch. Now just pull back a little bit. We're taking off! Oh my god! Oh my god. He is literally controlling this entire thing. Yes, he is, all by himself. Everyone's has never caused a crash, right? Off a simulator. I wonder how long they were training. I'm gonna turn right. No. Oh my god, we're sideways! I can't believe that I'm controlling this thing. Look, no hands! Stop! Oh, sweet Jesus, you bore off! I'm gonna burn you! <laughs> you got scared as hell. We're gonna go over there in a minute. We're gonna go back and land. Oh my god, I forgot. That's the one thing that's always a challenge for people. Oh, I am no. descending. My mental health is descending also. This is the part I crashed in every time in the simulator. Oh god! Uh. Ah. We're gonna land right there on top of that runway. Oh my god! We oh. were too close, right? Keep, oh. it, keep it pointed right down the middle. Oh my god. Easy. Easy. Keep your hands on. Easy. Stay straight. Just breathe. There we go. Slowly, nice and slow. Woo -hoo. We touched ground. You did, okay. Man. I landed a plane. Oh my god. He said I couldn't do it. But okay. We're still here. I was genuinely surprised that the job that pays $1 million a year is hand modeling. But only if you're one of what? the highest paid hand models in the world. Oh, she makes five paid. times the average salary of a doctor by letting people take photos of her hands. And her resume is stacked. Wow. She's hand modeled for almost any brand you've ever heard of. Her hands are even insured for $1 million per hand. I can't wait to see this in action. So to start us off, she's... So, she probably don't cook shit. If she gets a cut, a burn, anything on her hand, her career is over. Oh, man. You think she got like a routine? She dips it in oil, soaks it in oil for an hour, rubs lotion every five minutes on them. Some kind of routine to keep them shits clean. Or hey, just put makeup on it to make it look clear. Yeah, she probably don't do shit with her hands, huh? She probably wears gloves for everything. Oh, my God. Shit, if I'm her husband, I'd do all the housework too if you bring back Damn a male home. Hands. Shit. I didn't know that today was going to be the day that I'd find new Keep them hands clean. Okay, you, so you the paycheck. I can see the nails need work. Of course. Wow. These hands suck. Okay. Look how much hair is here compared to Carl. Can I get paid more for that? The skin texture might be better here with these two. Ah. Hmm. Can you change me? I don't know Seriously. if I can work miracles, but uh, <laughs> I haven't seen your hands yet, Jimmy. Your hands like glow. That's crazy. Why are your hands so glossy? <laughs> I don't know. Are my finger mm. structures good? Uh, yeah. No, they're very good, actually. But again, mm -hmm. we've got cuticle issues, skin issues here, but that can all be fixed. Our hands clearly needed work, so we had to prepare them to shoot, which was pretty easy for me and Carl. But for laser, not so much. Oh, God. Bro, you can make a rug out of all that hair. Oh, wow. <laughs> this hair's been with me my whole life. But you got to do what you got to do if you want to make a million dollars. And now that my hands are no longer disgusting, we're going to model for an actual magazine. And these photos are literally going to be shown on billboards all across America to oh, these shit. watches. That's petrifying. Yeah, no, no pressure. Okay, 
I mean, the watch looks wow. good. <laughs> I honestly ah. thought this was gonna be easy, but we were actually horrible at this. It looks like the watch is on a snake. <laughs> oh Bro, my this god! This is so hard. Can I see the difference with you doing? I'm it? assuming they photoshopped oh. it. What? Unreal. The product looks better because her hand doesn't shake as much. But being a hand model isn't all about wearing nice watches. Sometimes you mm -hmm. have to model weird things. Why are you squirming? Because I see a man holding a snake off camera. <laughs> oh my brave, god! Paul, brave. Put your other hand out here and kind of support his head. Yeah, of course I'll. Support one final thing I need to throw in the mix is Immortals of Avium, the sponsor of this video. Just hold that right there. Okay, perfect. Now he's modeling the watch, a snake, and this game. Yo, look at that. That looks crazy. Immortals of wow. Avium is a first-person magic shooter where you play as a battle mage named Jack trying to save the world, Carl. Can he save me? <laughs> this time I need you to model the Xbox version of the game with the mm -hmm. scorpion. No way, bro. You want to grab between there and Oh my there. god. Is this actually safe for me? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Get it, get it, go, go. Talk, talk, and go, and talk about the game. Right. You can sling 25 different types of magic spells. And I don't fuck with scorpions either. To Hell your no. Character to suit your play style. Carl, you think Immortals of Avium are going to love that photo? Immortals of Avium, I hope you love this. Just hold the scary animals, oh my and then god. we get to join the NFL for Why our Why couldn't it just job. be a fake one? The people created Immortals of Avium also helped make the award-winning campaigns of Halo, Call of Duty, and Dead Space. We love those campaigns. Wow. Oh, it's moving. And the coolest thing is, they put me in the game as a boss. And if you kill me in the game, you get more gold than any other boss the game gives you. Oh! Nice, I got you, I got you, just don't look. Ah! Ah! Not the trash, hell no. no. I thought this was hand modeling, not Fear Factory. Why you gotta take a picture of watching? It's under my hand! We were doing a such a bad job that we had the hand model step in to ensure the sponsor would approve of the photos. Click the link in the description if you want to play Immortals of Avium right now. I'm retiring as a hand model. And even though our photos mm. weren't great, we still got them on billboards all across the country. And now oh, it's finally tech. time for the job that pays $10 million per year. That's right. Oh I'm my about God. to literally join the NFL. This is He's on the bus. And if you think this is all fake, here I am signing a real contract to become a literal player for the Buccaneers worth $10 million. It might say we're not going to pay it, but it at least says that dollar amount. No, no, focus <laughs> on the dollar amount. And now it's official. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. So oh my, next my God. Hours, I'm officially a player. You are officially a player. I promise I won't let you down. I promise he will let you down. <laughs> By the end Don't of my contract, committed. I'm going to be running out with the team on the field in front of 60,000 fans. The first step is weight training. Am might be too light. Let's go up. Let's go up. Easy. I don't actually think they're paying me the 10 million. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think they're paying me. Where are you a Falcon? Easy. Yeah. I've noticed they yell at you a lot when you're an NFL player. Can you mm -hmm. set it to whatever the strongest player on your team does? I'm going to see if I can do one. He can do 12 okay. of these? Holy crap. He's not a normal human. Uh, I would hate to be hit by him. One more. Four, yeah. four. Four. Easy. Look at Mr. B bulking up. Why is the NFL so hard? <laughs> How does this compare to their typical workouts? Pretty pathetic. Hopefully the lightheadedness goes <laughs> Pathetic. Away. You get used to it. <laughs> okay. Up next was my first practice at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers training facility. So mm -hmm. naturally, I met my coach. Oh, Mr. Beast, How's it going? Cold. How you doing? So Good. Good. And my new teammates. Good to meet you, man. My name's Shaq. My kids love you. I love your oh, videos. Really? The candy bars, the Carl mm -hmm. gummies. Y'all yeah, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> And my new teammates couldn't believe I actually signed with the team, so I showed them my contract to prove it. This 10 million, he was like, that's more to me. You got more money than me, though. See, yeah. I told yeah. you, but dog. You <laughs> so it's, unless it's canceled in 48 hours, we're still gonna cancel. Uh, yeah, you gotta look at uh, the five parentheses rest. for sure. Hey, you official, welcome to the I know, thank you. Hey, my hey, new teammates over here. You brought These guys make us look like them. children. They're so big. Look at the mm -hmm. size comparison. <laughs> Wow. I'll be honest, I've never played football before. So they threw me on as kicker, which, oh. I was terrible at. Mr. Beast, we need you out. We gotta get ready for tomorrow. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'll mm -hmm. keep it. And since I've never played quarterback before, either, he technically, yo, I, he technically I, signed a contract. What if he actually went on the field for a play? That would be crazy. If they put him on the field for a play, nah, they try and run his just ass threw one up as far as I could. Touchdown! In case you didn't know, the team I just joined is the same team Tom Brady won the Super Bowl with. So I thought it'd be funny to surprise him. Oh, we got him, Tom! Oh, I almost got hit. TB, what's up, baby? What's up, TB? What's up, bro? I have a friend here who might literally die of happiness if you say hi to him. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Oh, I'm dead! 
Okay. After that, our mm -hmm. practice just evolved into shenanigans. I, what the fuck? Little man. He just looked at him oh, like it was nothing. Too small. Yeah. You can go back to filming. Yeah, all right, guys. Let's see y'all. Some people still had some questions about my two-day contract. So afterwards, the Bucks set up oh a my press God. conference for me. We obviously have a big game. I'm expecting very serious questions only. Is this just a publicity stunt? Why are you really here? To make the best video possible? Yes, it's a publicity stunt. His agent. Stunt. I clearly am not an NFL player. Jimmy, how does it feel being on a new team? It feels great. To be honest, they've accepted me way more than I thought. How much playing time are you expecting? Uh, none. And after explaining <laughs> over and over again that it's just a stunt, I went to go get measured. Six foot four. Four and a half. Six four and a half. Carl, you're six five. He's six, six four. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These measurements are key so that my gear and my uniform <laughs> are all custom fitted. Mm -hmm. This actually looks so good. There we go. And now that I'm suited up, it's time for the official game day. I still don't know why they're letting me do this, but hey, thanks. Put him on the field. They let me join the team. Yeah. That's my first football I've ever signed. Jimmy's about to come out any second now. They say if you get up by 100, I can play a play. Do me a favor and get up super high. It's his first game and probably his last. Definitely his last. How is this happening? Fire the cannon. Yeah, that's the last This is the only NFL game I'll ever be a part of. The team actually let me lead them out the tunnel. Let's go, boys! Wow. Is so loud. I won't let you guys down, even though I probably won't get played down. America. America. Let's play football. Wow. Yeah. Huge shout out to the Buccaneers for making me an official NFL player. It's honestly a good thing I didn't play because if they hit me, I probably would have died. And I thought it was all <laughs> over yeah, there until say, the Falcons made fun of me on Twitter. So in retaliation, I'm gonna nuke their stadium. Wait, what did he say? The what they made say? Fun of me on Twitter. For Mr. Beast next challenge, hit the field goal to win the game. Oh shit. So in retaliation, I'm gonna nuke their stadium. Uh-oh. Damn. Oh. How the Falcons gonna respond? He just blew their shit up. That's crazy. They should have put him on the field for a play. Oh my god. For a trick play. <laughs> 